This is the unboxing of the Z-Wave.me Z-Station, a dual protocol USB dongle supporting both Z-Wave and Zigbee. Z-Station can not only simultaneously control Zigbee and Z-Wave devices, but also work as a sniffer, act as a radio signal repeater, show signal strength for neighboring nodes, as well as become a sensor, thanks to the GPIO hidden inside. The box is made from a recycled carton. On the back, we find the list of regions this item is made for. This is because Z-Wave requires different antennas for different countries. This one is for North America and other countries using 905 to 920 megahertz range. This one is for Europe and other countries using 868 and 869 megahertz. Let's open the box. Under the manual, we immediately see the Z station itself and two antennas. Clear captions show which antenna is for the Zigbee 2.4 range and which is for the Z-Wave Sub-G range. Antennas are coming from the Lynx Technologies, recently acquired by TE Connectivity. They are of good quality and are a clue to the incredible radio coverage of this device. Under the carton insert, we find two USB cables and a set of screws for wall mounting. One cable is USB Type-C, the other is Type-A. Nice that we don't need any adapters. Both are one meter long. The enclosure looks like a puck. It has a soft touch and is hard to scratch. On the side, there are two antenna connectors. Here is the USB-C port and two holes with LEDs behind. On the back, we can find the sticker with arrows showing which port is where. The left for Z-Wave, the right for Zigbee. There are also three rubber pads making the device more stable on the table and the wall mounting holes. The device can stand on the table or be wall mounted. When wall mounting, you might need the drilling template. The template is available right in the manual. Thanks to two tilt antennas, you can adapt them to the appropriate orientation. Let's mount both antennas. This is the Zigbee one and the Z-Wave one. It is always recommended to keep antennas vertically to achieve the best radio performance. When mounted on the wall, you might need to turn them like this. The one meter cable allows to place Z-Station at a convenient place far from metal objects. This also helps to improve the radio range. When connected to a PC or smart home gateway, it will appear as two serial ports. One for Z-Wave and one for Zigbee. This makes the device look like two independent USB dongles. You can never use one port in one software and the other in another software. No drivers are needed as it uses the popular Silicon Labs CP2105 chip. Z-Wave ports uses the standard serial API protocol with some Z-Wave.me extensions, while the Zigbee port uses EZSP, or also called Ember Zigbee Serial Protocol. So the device is immediately compatible with open source projects like Home Assistant, Z-Wave JS, Zigbee 2 MQTT, OpenHub, GDUM, Domatix, and others. Most of the benefits are achieved when using ZStation with the ZWave.me own software called ZWave. ZWave software is known for the good support of ZWave. Built-in network diagnostic tools and various integrations, including an integration to Home Assistant. The device has multiple firmware options available from the manufacturer website. Zigbee firmware can be changed to OpenThread, Bluetooth, or even dual protocol Zigbee and OpenThread. The firmware upgrade is available right on the ZWave.me website. OpenThread firmware can also be used for Matter protocol. Bluetooth can be used for Matter Devices provisioning. There is also a repeater firmware. With this firmware, ZStation can become a Z-Wave and Zigbee repeating node to extend your smart home network. 
Just plug your Z-Station into a USB power supply. It is also possible to turn Z-Station into a multifunctional device, such as a sensor or an actuator. For this, use the Z-Uno firmware and pins located inside the enclosure. This is why you might need the breakable window in the bottom of the enclosures. The pinout is printed on the board as well as in the manual. Check the Z-Uno functionality if it inspires you. Z-Station can also act as a Z-Wave sniffer. You need to activate this function separately. Use the Z-Wave.me sniffer software. Z-Station also supports the so-called PTI or Packet Trace interface allowing you to run Zniffer in parallel with the normal operation as a controller. Z-Station is a Z-Wave long-range device. It can help you automate backyards or far parts of your house. It also supports Smart Start for fast Z-Wave devices provisioning, as well as Security S2 and the Z-Wave RCP mode. The Z-Station Z-Wave frequency can be changed via the USB port. Make sure the installed antenna supports the frequency you need. Z-Station comes with a migration tool to port your network from your old controller to Z-Station without repairing all devices in your network. Frequency change, firmware upgrade, and the migration tool are available at the zwave.me site.